Okay, welcome back. We are now moving on nicely with conjunctions. We're looking at starting a sentence with a conjunction, especially in grade 10, 11, 12. They really like asking this. Okay. My first tip here would be to forget about the groups now. As soon as you start with a conjunction, forget about group 1, 2, and 3. It doesn't really uh, benefit you knowing what group the conjunction is in. By the way, there will all be group 3 conjunctions except uh, 1 or 2. <clears throat> when you start with a conjunction, you want to think in terms of these two patterns here. Um, your verb 1s, those two Vs there, that means verb 1. They will move and meet in the middle with a comma in between. All the conjunctions will work like this, um, except for all. For all, the pattern changes from, from there to there. So verb 1 will sit there, and the other verb 1 will still sit there. Then you need to figure out which sentence comes first and which sentence comes second. And that you can only know if you know the meaning of the conjunction and you know the meaning of the sentences. Okay, so enough talking. Let's look at some examples here. Ek gaan school toe. Ek is baie sick. I'm going to school. I am very sick. Although. Okay, so are you going to say, although I'm going to school, I'm very sick? Or are you going to say, Although I'm very sick, I'm going to school. I think the second one sounds a bit better. If you don't know, just uh, don't leave it out. Just have a guess. You've got a 50-50 chance there. I don't know if how you like gambling, but that's, that's a, I think it's a good chance you'll get it right. Alouvel, ek, baia, sick, is. Now there's your verb one, comma, gaan. Is the verb one in that sentence it has to go and move to the beginning of that sentence? Chanak school two. Okay, so you see our pattern: conjunction, conjunction, verb one, verb one, verb one, verb one. That looks right according to our pattern. I'll make it green like that so we can see. Alivalek by sikus chanak school two. Okay, let's look at that. Now, <clears throat> sorry, just again, they will all work like this. Omdat, Seder, Dvanya, all those group 3 conjunctions, they'll all work like this. Now, all is in group 2. Um, doesn't really help you knowing that, though. Um, you just need to think in terms of this pattern. Um, all. Okay, so the Springbok spiel good. The Springboks are playing well. Hulle verloor altijd. They always lose. Although, although they play well, they always lose. Or although they always lose, they play well. Well, I think the first one makes a bit more sense. Sometimes they can go both ways, um, but not always. Most of the time it will be uh, one direction only. So, okay, so let's put this sentence first and that sentence second. Die spielmokke speel goed. Al speel. There's the verb one. It needs to sit now in that position there. Okay, so there it is. I'll spill the springbokke. Good. Comma. This sentence, there's your verb one. Okay, so it needs to meet um, in the middle there. Verloor. Hulle altijd. Okay, so we've got your verb one there, your verb one there, and your conjunction that they gave you there. Okay, so watch out for for this kind of one here. Um, I'll show you the trick here. The fish begin bait. The fish is starting to bite. I can't I'm going to uh, I'm going fishing this weekend. Okay, seeing that. So obviously it would be seeing that the 
fish are starting to bite. I'm going fishing this weekend. Okay, so there's your verb one. There's your verb one. Now that sentence needs to go in there and that verb needs to go to the end. But can a verb move over a verb? No, it can't. Normally it would just go to the end and your verbs need to meet there. But sometimes you can have this. Um, you can have a verb one, a verb two like that. So that verb one can't move over the verb two. That's what we have in the sentence that we're doing now. Um, so aangezien die vis begin bait, comma, and then gaan is the verb one in that second sentence. That's easy. Gaan ek die nou weer ek vis vang. Like that. Okay, so there's your verb one. There's your verb one. And you're starting with aangezien. Normally, your verb ones will meet in the middle there. But if there's another verb there at the end, then it can't. Other thing that can happen is you can have an infinitive in there. Vis begin bait om vet te word. Then, ja, then that infinitive can also force its way in your, into your formula there. Uh, it doesn't happen often though. Uh, it'll be a worst case scenario probably for grade 12 trials or so. That could quite easily happen. Um, but hopefully it doesn't. Okay, but I have seen this. Um, I normally sneak one of these in in a test or exam just to see that you know you can't ever move a verb over a verb unless it's a turbo verb, of course. And the turbo verbs are hit, um, is, slash, vas, and vort can move over other verbs. They will go and sit there in the middle, meeting that verb one there quite easily. Okay, this is a long video. We need to stop. Um, Starting with conjunctions, we'll have one or two, probably two more videos on conjunctions, and then that should be sorted. Remember, in the in the books, plenty of different tricks, little examples, anything uh, the government paper or IB paper can throw at you, um, covered in these books. You really need to just invest in a copy. Uh, they, they're really cheap, and uh, I think worth worth um, worth buying. Cool, I hope that uh, that helps. We'll we'll chat again soon. Um, have a good afternoon further. Bye bye.